All right, he's an iconic piece of baseball history and by far one of the most unique. Known as the Clown Prince, there's a new documentary on Max Patkin made by a local producer from right here in Reno. We're going to hear all about it coming up next. All right, welcome back. Many of you have heard of this guy, Max Patkin, known as the Clown Prince of Baseball. Now a new documentary is coming out produced by a local man. Joining us now is Garrett Sutton. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. All right, what was the motivation to really dive into the history of Max Patkin? Well, Sunstream is a new streaming platform based here in Reno, and we're looking for original content. And one of our board members, Greg DeHart, pitched in the minor leagues, and Max Patkin came out to the mound. And he's trying to make the major leagues. And this <laughs> clown comes out to the mound, and he goes, get off my mound. And Max Patkin goes, they're not here to see you, kid. So Greg always had this soft spot for Max Patkin and his story. And there is a tears of a clown element to this. He had some facets of his life that were fairly sad. And we cover that in the documentary. Yeah, I mean, for, for a lot of comedians or really funny people outwardly, you know, they've got demons or they've got some issues they've gone through in their private lives. Right, and we cover that in the documentary so people will see this extravagant, uh, you know, uh, loose limb uh, <laughs> clown right. out there uh, who really had some issues in his private life. You know, it's funny, um, he does a lot with his face, you know, and that's, I think, what they first noticed him by some of the stuff he did with his face, and he can really contort it, contort it in different ways that, that really helped him become an icon, I think. Right, and so he entertained thousands of people uh, in minor league stadiums for 50 years. And when it was Max Patkin night, everybody in Cedar Rapids or <laughs> Little Rock or wherever came out to see him. And I'd love to find out, we have to do the research if he ever played for, uh, performed for the Silver Sox here in the Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. You know, and I, I read that Patkin, I mean, he, I think he might have, he might have made the majors or, or at least was a minor league pitcher for a while. He was. Yeah. He was, and he got his start in, during World War II. He's in Hawaii, stationed there, and they bring the major leaguers to entertain the troops. And so he's pitching, and Joe DiMaggio just crushes a home run <laughs> off him, and he gets so fed up that he throws down his mitt and follows DiMaggio <laughs> around the bases with his unique gait, yeah, you know, yeah. mimicking his gait. <laughs> and the, the players and the fans loved it, so they weren't congratulating DiMaggio for crushing the home run. They they were giving Max Patkin the love for, you know, imitating Joe DiMaggio, and that was the start of his career. So we cover that in the documentary. Yeah, he blew up after that. Now, I mean, how much is this that you want to bring it to a new audience? I mean, people our age and older, you know, we'd heard of Max Patkin. We knew about him, but they're, you know, people 35 years and younger have no idea who he is. Well, the most famous baseball movie ever is Bull Durham. Sure. And Max P Patkin plays himself in Bull Durham. So a lot of fans will have seen Bull Durham and remember Max Patkin as well. But we take on his life story and it's just fascinating. It really is when you delve into all the stuff he did and on and off the field. I mean, he served his country in the right. war. Uh, pretty amazing. Now let's talk about Sunstream, your company. You have other, uh, other films that you guys have done. Correct. We've uh, done a movie called Symphony of the Holocaust. It just premiered at the Jewish Nevada Film Festival in Las Vegas. Uh, we've produced a kids movie called Kangaroo Kids. And we're doing a documentary in Chile about the lost grape, the Carmen Air grape. So oh. we're doing original content as well on Sunstream. We have a couple focuses. One are, is music. We have local bands appearing, as well as kids' financial education. So I've traveled the world with Robert Kiyosaki, who wrote Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And my understanding from parents around the world is they want their kids educated on money. So we're providing content so that parents and children can learn more about money. And, you know, when, you, when it comes in an interesting way, right. it sticks, right? Yes. It's not just a lesson. It's, it's interesting. and That stuff sticks. Well, with. and we, when we have the documentary or the uh, movies on financial education, it's not dry and boring. But sure. we also have other content, cartoons, movies, other things for the kids to watch. If people want to check out Sunscreen, how do they do that? They go to sunstream, S-U-N-N, stream.com. And we'd love for you to subscribe and, and uh, learn more about what we're doing here in Reno. And for the Max Patkin movie, the world premiere here in Reno at Greater Nevada Field? It's at the Aces Stadium. The Aces are great to work with. We're having a private event. 
uh, on uh, March 29th. Very but if cool. you subscribe to Sunstream, call the office. We'll get you a ticket. All right, Sunstream. Check it out. Hey, thanks for coming in. Thanks. We'll be right back.